Well, it's about to happen. So what am I about to do? Well, let me explain to you. A while back, a friend and I attempted to ride all of the rides in all of the parks in one day. We only completed 30 out of 47. And as we were walking out of the Magic Kingdom, my friend threw out this crazy idea. I should run my first marathon inside of the Magic Kingdom. Realizing that there wasn't going to be a Disney marathon anytime soon, and my Disney annual pass expired on September 12th, and I only had a few days to complete this crazy challenge of running 26.2 miles, an unofficial marathon inside of the Magic Kingdom. On Walt Disney World's General Rules website, it says, for your safety and the safety of others, please refrain from running. So what's going to happen? Will they stop me? Will they ask me to leave the park? Well, we're about to find out. So I have made my first mile just leaving Tomorrowland and heading into Adventureland. So look, it's Peter Flocking Pan. <laughs> so Peter Pan is one of my favorite characters. Just never wants to grow up. Doesn't take himself too serious. <laughs> So one of the things I've been doing is stopping at the photographers capture each mile. It's a great way to document it and uh, keep track of how many miles I've done. I have to say, this is not a bad place to complete your first marathon. So my first unofficial marathon attempt is now happening in the Magic Kingdom. And it's a brutal 92 degrees outside. This is going to hurt. I'm running faster than they're moving, so not too bad. I have two hours and two minutes now. The good part about doing it in here, it makes you stay at a certain pace. The likelihood of me bonking from going too hard is very minimal. Let's see, can I get it? Nope. Maybe next time around I can get it. So I definitely look out of place with short running shorts and sweating like crazy. As I log more and more miles, I don't want to get called down. So I just stay at a steady jog, hoping to make it to the end. Some of my good friends over at the Marvelously Goofy Dad podcast, that's their official ride, the Barnstormer. <laughs> so I'm officially halfway through, 13.1, let's go. Just clicking them away and enjoying the day. I'm really bummed. I had a photographer friend right there that we were keeping up with each other. She's not there anymore. Hopefully I'll find her later. Are you taking photos? Jody, will you take my photo? Absolutely, Oh, yeah. Over 17 miles in and uh, just clicking them away. Don't get it wrong. This is harder than it looked. I figured it would be. I didn't figure it was gonna be a piece of cake. Because of the sheer heat, my body is starting to cramp, so it's a bummer. After four plus hours of direct Florida sunlight, you start to realize a few things quickly about the Magic Kingdom. There's very little covered walkways, and my core temp is rising quickly. Well, after a little bonk, at mile 22, searching for shade, We'll see what happens in the next four miles. I have only eaten a half of a Fig Newton bar and drank one Coke and one Powerade, and I've had only two liters of water. This was probably not the smartest decision. 25.5, never underestimate the power of sugar. Over the last few miles, I've only been running off sugar, and my muscles are really feeling it. And done! 26.2 miles in the park in one day 
and awesome. Jody is going to take my photo to, and I to celebrate. At the beginning of the day. Well, I did it. 26.2 miles in the Magic Kingdom, the first unofficial Magic Kingdom marathon. A few of the fun facts is I did not get called down for running one time. Was it hard? Oh God, it was so hard. But finished and uh, yeah, now we celebrate. After circling the Magic Kingdom over 10 times, a few of the cast members would cheer me on as I passed by. I couldn't think of a better place to complete my first marathon. And what a way to end my annual pass. So one of the things that I wanted to do for this marathon is to not ride one physical ride. And I did it. As you can see, there's a train station and we're leaving. I did not ride one ride. This could not have been completed without the help of some great friends. To Tyler Dancy, thank you for capturing images and bringing me food. To our wives, thank you for embracing this crazy idea. And to the Suffer Club, thank you for your support and your encouragement through this adventure.